What's up there? Welcome y'all. It's Brandy here with another reaction video. I don't know why I just bucked my eyes like that, but I did. Um, eight signs is not friendship, but love. We're going to get right into this video because I feel like I got some things to say about this. I feel like I'm, I might have experienced this before. Just maybe. Let's get right into this video. Having fun together. Being open with one another, spending a lot of time with one another, and sharing a deep emotional connection with someone. Does that sound more like a close friendship to you or a romantic relationship? The answer could easily be both, right? And for a lot of us, the lines between love and friendship can get blurry sometimes, and adding romantic feelings to the mix can make things even more complicated. So if you need some help figuring out where to draw the line in the sand between love and friendship, here are eight signs that tell you things between you and your friend are starting to become much more romantic than platonic. Number one, you daydream about them. Do you often jokingly say you and your friend should just date each other instead? Or daydream about what it might be like to end up with them romantically? While it might seem like nothing more than playful banter and lighthearted fun to you, these romantic fantasies might mean a lot more than you think, especially if you feel butterflies fluttering in your stomach every time you think about it. Number two, you get jealous of their partners. While it's understandable to have jealous feelings towards your best friend's other friends from time to time, the difference between platonic and romantic jealousy is clear. The former stems from a fear of your friend leaving you behind, while the latter comes from the disappointment of having your romantic hopes dashed. So if you find yourself feeling jealous of the romantic partners and love interests of your friend for more than a platonic reason, it's time to take a good long look at why. Are you tired of swiping left and right? Or maybe you're trying to find love in the wrong place. Number three, you can't wait to see them. Be honest. Do you enjoy spending time with your best friend more than you do with your crushes? Are they your favorite person to hang out and make plans with by far? Enjoying your friend's company and looking forward to seeing them is one thing, but eagerly counting down the moments until you see each other is another thing entirely. And if you're dying to see this person at all hours of the day, then it might be that what you feel for them is more than just friendship. Number four, you want to be more intimate with them. While emotional intimacy is certainly not uncommon to have in a close, meaningful friendship, Wanting to be more intimate with this person is a sure sign as any that romantic feelings are already starting to blossom between you. Are you becoming more physically affectionate with them? Do you immediately turn to them for comfort, even when other people can offer it to you? Or have deep, meaningful talks with them almost every day? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then what you want might already be more than just friendship. Number five, you're overly affectionate. Similar to the last point, if you find yourself acting more flirty than friendly around this person, it's probably because your feelings for them are starting to show, even if you don't realize they're there yet. More than ever before, you wanna be close to them all the time, to hold their hand, to act sweet with them, to hug and kiss them as much as you can get away with, and to take just about any excuse to get to touch them and show them affection. Number six, you talk about them constantly. One of the reasons why everyone else seems to be raising their eyebrows at your so-called friendship with this person is because they seem to be your favorite topic to talk about. You can't say enough good things about them, and you're always sharing funny stories or fond memories you have with them. And if you notice yourself constantly finding ways to incorporate them into any conversation you can, well, it doesn't take a dating expert to see that you're already falling in love with your friend. Number seven you're not interested in anyone else. Another telltale sign that it's not just friendship, it's love, is if your friend becomes the reason you're not interested in anyone else. You're no longer interested in dating around or pursuing anything with anyone else because deep down inside, you know this person is already everything that you want in a partner. And the tricky part is whether you've already admitted it to yourself or not. And number eight, it's never enough. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, if you find that no matter how much time you spend with your friend, it's never enough to make you stop missing them and wanting to see them, then you are definitely catching feelings for them. 
no doubt about it. After all, the fluttery feeling in your heart every time you're near them, that desire to see them and talk to them all the time, the certainty that you won't ever be sick of them, those are all signs of newly found love. And though you might still think of them as a friend, you're definitely smitten with them more than you'd maybe like to admit. So be honest. Do you relate to any of the signs we've mentioned here? Do you think your friendship with someone is turning into something more romantic? If so, opening up about it to this person would be a good first step to take, especially if you suspect they might feel the same way too. Ponder on the true meaning of your feelings and think about what it is you really want, where you'd like to go from here. Then, once you're sure that this is something worth pursuing, don't be afraid to make your intentions clear. Did you find this video insightful? Tell us in the comments below. Please like and share it with friends that might find value in this video too. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. What I want to say about that, I feel like if you hang around a person enough, especially of the opposite sex of you, if you hang around them enough, you become close to them enough, you're going to fall in love with them. Like, I just feel like it's no avoiding that. Like, <clears throat> you can even either fall in love with that person, or you can fall in love with that person. Like, I just feel like hanging around the opposite sex and you're like really close. You're going to catch feelings. You're going to want more out of it because like, it feels so good that you just want it to keep expanding and continuing. So it's just like, I think that's like 100% natural. But let me tell you my little story. So in high school, I had this um, male friend. Like He was like one of my very first male friends that like never tried to get on that with me. You know, never made me uncomfortable. I'm, like, he just never overstepped his boundaries for it, for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. So, we were together all the time in high school. Like, we sat next to each other in every class that we had together. Walked the halls with each other. We would wait for each other in the halls. Sit next to each other at lunch. You know, and talk all the time. Like, it was always him and I. Me and him. Anytime you turned around, you seen us two together. And I just, like, just grew a genuine love for him. And I know for a fact he grew a genuine love uh, for me as well. Um, and I did, I'm not going to lie, I had my moments where, um, where I thought, like, hmm, what if this was to turn into a relationship? But I'm also a very firm believer in relationship ruins friendships. I mean, it's not all the time, but majority of the time. When relationships end, those who end the relationship with each other are no longer wanting to deal with each other. You know what I'm saying? That's majority of the time with relationships. So I'm a very big believer in relationship runs friendships. So, you know, I eventually cleared that thought out of my head. And we had times where it was just like uh, bagging away from each other because the connection was a little too strong. And I, like, it was just, we were denying a lot of things. Like, well, I can only speak for me. I felt it was times where he may have wanted to pursue it, but me thinking in my head, I don't want to lose my friend. He's such a good friend to me. I really enjoy his company that I bagged away. Now, I'm not sure if he felt the same way 100%, but I know that feelings were there of strong love towards each other. Like, like. Having genuine love for a person Mommy. may not be in love, Mommy. but yes. Who's that? It's the car outside. Okay. Yeah, she heard a loud beeping, y'all. So she was dead. But yeah, I know genuine love, like a bond, a, a, a true bond had developed between him and I. And it was a very strong one at that. Like, when I say you really did not see us without each other, you did not. It was very rare that you did. Like, I, I have a whole twin. I was with him more than I was with my twin in school. Like, that's just how it was. How did it start? Don't know. It just happened. But I was able to talk to him so freely. Like, it was things that he told me that he did not tell him. Um, 
that he didn't tell anybody else. It was been times that we can get on the phone and, you know, we could talk through it after high school. We would get on the phone and stuff like that. I mean, during high school, we got on the phone not so often. But I know when I um, got pregnant, I'm like, oh, let me, t- let me tell my friend. And we reconnected. And after that, we was just, you know, it was just a bond like no other. Are we still that close with friends now? No. He went on and started a family. He was in a beautiful relationship. I'm happy for him. I have no hate or nothing towards that because, like, he is my friend, even though we do not talk anymore. But, yeah, I just feel like when you're around somebody a lot and you're able to connect with them and feel comfortable around them, feelings are bound to happen. You may not pursue those feelings, but they will happen. They will. It's it's not up for debate. That will happen. That will strongly happen. But um, in the comments, y'all let me know if y'all had a certain experience like that, a similar experience, anything. I know I didn't touch on these um, points. Oh, you're overly affectionate. That tied into us being around each other all the time. Like, I would do stuff like lean on him a lot, um, playing his hair, and stuff like that, you know. But I can say that was one of the best friendships that I've ever had in my life. I would consider him a male best friend because we were just that tight. Do I miss our friendship? Do I miss our bond? Yes, I do. And if he was to ever come across this video, I love you. Um, he was one of the most genuine friends that I've ever had. He also helped me through a heartbreak too. So I think that's where some of my love came in from him as well. Because he helped me through it and was able to talk to me and toughen me up about about it <laughs> you know he didn't like to see me sad um but yeah but y'all let me know in the comments what you got going on with this what you think yeah i'm thinking because <laughs> i genuinely think you're around a person long enough you're gonna develop some feelings it's like ain't no way around that but the original link to the video will be down in my description box make sure y'all go show some love and support to that if you would like I enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time. Bye.